Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Gina. I'm Emily. And today we're filming episode two of our self-care series. So we're going to be doing a hair mask and telling you about our curly hair journey. So we're going to be using the Shea Moisture. Um, Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil. Um, so it's for hydration. We both have curly hair um, and we need some hydration because so probably like you, we slack on our like hair care, skincare routines, uh, as we mentioned in one of our previous self care with us videos, actually our first one, check it out if you haven't seen it already. Um, but we mentioned that we're trying to get into a schedule and trying to keep ourselves more accountable for it. So we're gonna be doing a hair mask today instead of a skincare routine. Yeah. So we can give our hair some love. Being so that as we do it, maybe you guys can do something too, like yeah. do a hair mask, or if you still want to do skincare, like mm -hmm. anything that is self-care for you, right. we can do it together. And we're going to be trying to do different things, so if you have any suggestions on things that work for you and you think we should incorporate it in our routine or our daily lives, let us know. So help each other out, and we'll get into our hair now. So we're going to set up a mirror yes. um, right here so that we can both see what we're doing. And <laughs> we don't get it all over yeah. the place. So that's what it's going to be like if you can see it in frame. And then we also have a water bottle just to wet our hair to make the mask, I guess, go deeper um, yeah. into our hair. Um, it's also it easier. Changes. Yeah, it's also easier to put it on our hair when it's wet. And I'm going to oh, take yeah. my rings off because I don't like to get <laughs> this stuff in it. I don't know why. Uh, we're also drinking wine. So if you also like wine, get yours out. Cheers with us. And enjoy this video. Okay, so if we look a little crazy, guys, sorry. They're with us, police. But the result will be good. I've actually yeah. used this one or two times before, and it came out really good. Like, my hair was super, super soft, and I really liked it. So, I've never tried it yet. So yeah. This is my first time trying it, but I'm really excited. I'm going to go ahead and add the mask in my hair now, um, just so that my hair doesn't get too dry without having the water. And as we do this, we're kind of just going to talk, like, we both have, like, horror stories of our hair. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'll go first. Mine started, or mine happened in junior high. So, I was about 12, 13, yeah. I would say. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, bored. Everyone had this, like, really pretty hair. And um, ombre was, like, just coming around. That was mm -hmm. the brand new thing. And it was a huge deal. Everyone was getting it. And I just had, you know, my hair is naturally black. And... I was like, so, so boring. Like, I want to do something with my hair. Right. And my grandma is a hairstylist. And so I was like, hmm, we could just go to her. Like, I won't have to pay. It's fine. You know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's it called? What I initially went for was to get the under layer of my hair uh, red. And that was it. Mm -hmm. So that when I put my hair up, you could see it. It was something kind of cool. Yeah. And Or what I thought was going to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and that was it. And for some reason, when we got there to my grandma's shop, I was like... I want to dye the whole thing and she's like okay what color and I chose this really like bronzy brown color mm -hmm. I would say right like a bronzy brown it was like a honey brown like, yeah, yeah completely different and I didn't it was realize pretty light. yeah and I didn't realize that you know when she, when I seen it I was like oh yeah let's do this one and I didn't know that I was gonna have to bleach my hair right and um so I'm like yeah let's do it so she does it how confident and, yeah I get the color and I was like cool like you know it looked good and my hair was fine um, the first time. Mm -hmm. And then my roots started coming back and like I said, my hair is naturally black. So the black roots with the <laughs> like really light brown hair looked really bad. So I went to get it done again. Yeah, I didn't get my hair time to rest at all. And um, went again, got it done again and that completely fried my hair. Like fried my hair. It was so dry. Like just the quality of my hair went out the window. Literally. And... From then on, it took me a, literally, I'm not even kidding, like five, four to six years, I would say. Yeah. To finally get my hair back to its, I don't know, I don't want to say like original state, but it just not like how it was. Year. Yeah, like yeah. I struggled every single day for those years. Like my my hairstyles were literally buns and braids. And so it was after I was 18, I think, mm -hmm. that I finally cut off all the brown. My hair was like mid back, which was short for me. For you. Mm -hmm. And, um... You weren't used to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I cut that off and then I started learning more about um, curly hair products and stuff like that. And yeah, four to six years later, I bounced back. <laughs> and 
so yeah, that was my hair horror story. <laughs> Um, and so mine actually happened after we graduated. Should we start on our... Oh yeah, let's um, take out this section. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> sorry, am I spreading you so bad? I'm sorry. It was only a little bit. I like felt it on my lash. I'm so Sorry. You probably twitched too. I did. I think I did. Also. So my story goes a little something like this. <laughs> um, so we had graduated already. High school. Yeah, graduated high school already. And um, I decided in the summer I wanted to do the whole balayage um, where your hair is like darker on top and then goes to the light uh, blonde or whichever color you end up wanting. Um, but I wanted to go pretty light um, blonde and have like a really cool ombre effect. And I went to a salon and they had a lot of good reviews. Of course, I looked up everywhere to go and I was just looking Like you for, did your research. Absolutely. I was like on Yelp, you know, looking at different reviews and stuff. And I chose the salon. I went there, made my appointment and everything. And... Um, I got dropped off early in the morning, probably 11, 10 or 11 maybe, and um, well I guess that's not really early, but I was there in the morning and I didn't actually leave until like almost 7 at night. I was there the entire day, um, and this is my natural hair color, so it's like brown, um, it's definitely not as dark as Gina's, but um, in like when it's wet it does look darker than yeah. you know like when it's dry, but it is pretty light brown. Um, and so I got dropped off and she started or whatever, everything was fine. And then my hair actually, the first time I went to the salon, uh, for my first appointment, it actually ended up turning darker. So it didn't actually do the bleach where it, you know, looked lighter at the end or like blonde. She actually ended up toning it way too dark. Um, so my hair looked black like this and... I didn't pay for that obviously because I was like this is I mean it's I paid. not what I asked for yeah so I was like this isn't what I asked for actually literally the opposite of what you asked exactly for. exactly and she like was like oh I'm so sorry this and that and so I left and she told me to come back in a week because you know to let my hair rest for a little bit but to come back in a week and I was like all right I could do that so I made my new appointment and I waited it out. I hated the dark color because that's obviously not what I wanted. And it was summertime, so I wanted it to be lighter and um, warm tone. Yeah, like super beachy mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And um, that's not what I got. So I got the dark hair. I went in for my next appointment to lighten it up and tone it a lighter color. And as I'm sitting in the chair, um, I notice in the mirror there's a mirror in front of me so I can see below where my chair is and I can see that there's a puddle of like water under my chair and I'm like oh that's kind of weird and so come to find out it was actually like my hair had sweat out all the moisture and it was literally just on the ground so I was like uh what is happening yeah so when she starts rinsing out my hair in the uh, they call it like a bowl um, she was rinsing my hair out and she literally just was like, uh, like making, uh, noises and I was like, oh, hell no, <laughs> what, like, what did you That's do? That's something you never want to hear from your, like, right. hairstylist as they're doing your hair or, like, or, like rinsing someone, your hair Or, like, someone, like, waxing your eyebrows yeah. or something, like, no, so she's, like, saying, like, oh, no, or, like, uh, like, just oh making noise God. and it's negative, so I'm yeah. like, what the heck, like, what happened? And so... She goes, I, I think, I don't even think I can blow dry it. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, your hair is just breaking. It's just breaking. So literally I would grab my hair like this and just, psh, like, it would just break off. Like, like spaghetti noodles, I swear. It was the weirdest texture. Like you said, like very stringy. Yeah. It felt like a broom. I like, it was disgusting. Yeah. I hated it. And so I literally left the salon with my hair like dripping wet. Because she couldn't even touch it. She's Honestly, like, I'm scared I, to touch it. I literally feel like I would have been bawling. Like, I just I immediately started crying when yeah. I got in the car. Yeah. Yeah. I was so upset because, you know, she just left me with the hair mask. And not this one specifically, but she left me with, with the hair mask. And she goes, you know, okay, well, 
try and get the moisture back, this and that. And I'm oh. like, no, like you just messed up my hair. And yeah. to, the, to that point, my hair was like all the way down to my butt. And it was very healthy. It was shiny and really long. And so I was so upset that I had worked so hard to make sure was, my hair was healthy. It was so bad that I ended up having to cut my hair in like a bob. So she started underneath my hair, so the most damage was underneath in the bottom layers. So I had to cut it like this to where the front pieces were longer. So at least if I put the front front pieces of my hair, it would look longer in the front than it I actually had in the back. Um, I didn't like the style, but I had to do what I had to do in order for it to grow back uh, properly and evenly. Um, and obviously to be healthy, I had to do it. Um, so I went to the salon that I currently go to now and they revived my hair. They fixed it. I've been going there ever since. I've never gone to another salon because I know they do a good job there. And if you've never done your hair in a salon or anything like that, please trust us because yeah. we have, like I said, or like she said, horror stories from our experiences and it was no fun. But I feel like we were talking about it earlier. We were saying it's like kind of like a rite of passage of being yeah. a woman. Like you just have to have those bad experiences to realize that no, like you have to stay with one certain person yeah. that does your hair and one certain person that does your nails and things like that. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I know the answer for you, but like a question that like you guys could maybe answer mm -hmm. for us is if you have curly hair and have tried coconut oil, has it worked for your hair? Because we've tried coconut oil, yeah. seeing all the, you know, amazing the things yeah, yeah, that it's done for people's hair. And for people are saying they've people. done it, yeah, they, they've used it one time and it, they could already like automatically see the results. Right. We've tried it multiple Several times. times. And each time, like, it just made our hair fall out so much. And like I couldn't clumps. even see. Yeah, like, oh, not, not like, not just a little bit of fallout, like normal. It's a lot of hair. And yeah. I never really seen a change in my hair. Mm -mm. So, like. If anything, it was just greasy and it took forever to wash out. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I want to know if that's, like, a curly hair thing or is your hair just, just yeah, is your hair just stubborn? <laughs> like, but, yeah, that was our curly hair journey. Um, we do eventually want to get into a better routine, like we said, with our hair schedules and with our routines, the products that we use and things yeah. like that. So once we do get to a good spot, I think we will go ahead and do like a curly hair video. Yeah, more um, like, like an actual routine. curly hair routine. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we're going to be working on that, but we want to make sure that the products actually work before recommending them because obviously then we're there's no only going to recommend good stuff for yeah. you guys. Because How do you feel? Feels real hydrated right now I feel like I should wrap it up yeah I but know. we're gonna actually leave them overnight yes um to get like the full effect mm -hmm. into our hairs so we're just gonna add in pictures yes of what it looks like once we've washed it out and like styled, styled it, it with our products and everything mm -hmm. yeah we can actually leave in the description what products we each use some of some of them might be similar because we do yeah. recommend <laughs> products to each other but we can definitely leave them down below if you guys want to check any of them out thank you guys for watching we hope you guys enjoyed episode two of our self-care self -care with us. us stay tuned for our next video so we can bring good, good vibes, vibes to your lives, lives. Tell me, tell me you do, tell me you don't, tell me you will, then tell me you